what's going on so I was a little hesitant to do a video about this but I was like yo what the heck Serena Williams Serena Williams after seeing a bunch of people doing videos about what happened with her losing to Naomi, I think her name is Sakata, the, the Japanese Haitian girl. I see a lot of people defending Serena Williams on YouTube, you know, and I see a few who really saw it for what it was and they're calling out the bullshit. Now, I saw the match. I didn't watch all of it. But I saw like the, the last, I would say, probably the last seven minutes of it or so. And Serena Williams lost. Okay? She lost. That's what happened. She lost. And she's pissed. Now... I was listening to the news and they were saying that her coach actually said he was like giving her hand gestures or something like that, like telling her to get closer to the uh, net or so, something, something to that effect. And they were, all, also, they were also saying like he was saying it should be allowed for you to like communicate with your, with your coach because other sports like, you know, basketball and football and stuff like that, the coaches can talk to the players. But nonetheless, she got penalized for taking coaching. I guess that's, um, that's illegal in tennis, right? She got mad for that. Uh, she was saying she, she doesn't cheat to win. She would rather lose. And, 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 <laughs> and the classic... I'm a mother. I'm a mother. Where have we heard that before? And it's not just black women who say that. Even white women, Hispanic women. When they want sympathy, they always draw the, I'm a mother. You know, as if because you're a mother, you're innocent. You don't do nothing wrong. You don't lie or, or nothing of the sort. I'm a mother. So Serena, she drew that card. And then she was arguing with the, with the umpire, or the guy sitting on that thing. And uh, he, was, he was talking back to her. He wasn't shouting or anything. And she told him she wanted an apology. And she told him to shut up. Not in those words, but she told him to like hush it. Right? And even though she told him that, she continued to pop her mouth. What does that remind you of, black men? Doesn't that remind you of, for years, you have women telling men to shut up while they argue with you? We see it even here on YouTube, where women are trying to censor men. They want the men to shut up so they can continue doing their videos, you know, um, talking shit about men. So even though she told this guy, you know, to shut up, she kept talking. And she was penalized for breaking her racket and stuff like that. And then, th then she drew the, um, the, um, because I'm a female. How can men do this and men do that and get away with it? Now... Men have been penalized in tennis before. A bunch of men have been fined. And I'm going to show you proof of that. But I just don't understand why it is that women, why do they, do they envy men or something? I've heard women say, well, if guys can sleep around, why can't women? If guys can do this, why, why, why do you keep, what? we're not the same. We've never been the same. That's why there's a difference in the sexes. That's why you have a pussy, we have dicks. You have breasts, we don't. 
we have larger muscle masses, you don't. You can multitask better than we can. Like we, you get what I'm, we have, we have weaknesses and strengths, you know, and vice versa. We're not the same in some aspects. Why is it women keep watching what men do, what men have, the money men make? I mean, what the hell? Anyway, let me, let me show you some proof here. Let me try to find this thing here. Uh, where is it? Okay. You see that? Let me click on that. Okay, I'm not going to read all of that. She was fined what $17,000. Let's 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 go down to the juicy part, shall we? Okay, this guy wasn't fined. Despite the insults, Littlefield did not give the tennis star a penalty and Connors went on to win the match. He wasn't fined. This guy was fined $1,500. Andre Agassi, we all know him. He was fined $3,000. Because he spat on the, I think it was the, the referee or the umpire, whatever you call those guys. John McEnroe, everybody knows him. He was fined in 1987. He was fined $17,500. Then he was fined 6500 This guy was not penalized. This guy was fined $12,000. He was stripped of $57,000. The list goes on. Okay? But what I'm trying to show you guys is that it's not true that men don't get fined. Some of them got away, but not all of them. But the issue that Serena Williams is having is that she lost. She lost. When she was winning, she wasn't complaining about sexism, was she? No, she wasn't. When she was winning, she wasn't complaining that she's a female, was she? No, she wasn't. But all of a sudden, she's fighting for women's rights. Women rights, fighting for what kind of women rights? Do you know how much rights women have? Do you know right now I'm standing out here, a female can come out and say, he raped me, and cops will be swarming here? And I don't even know that chick? Do you know how many women are winning in child support court? Taking men's money? Ask Kelly's. Talk to Chris Brown. Do you know how many women are falsely accusing men of rape, getting away with it? Talk to Bill Cosby and all these females out here. What women rights? Do you know how many women are out here leeching off the system, getting pregnant on purpose? They're taking advantage of social programs that a lot of guys can't get. Because we have to work. And you're trying to tell us about women's rights? You're, fight, what, you're fighting for what? I'm sick of this women's right fighting and all this shit. It, it doesn't mean shit. Serena Williams lost. End of story. 
that's it. The girl won, she got her trophy, it's over, it's finished, I'm out. 